Hello and welcome back to Gex. <clears throat> Last time we colonized the Gilligax Isle and now we are moving on to see what is beyond the gate. Beyond the pearly gates as Gex falls into oblivion. As seen right now. Yeah, when you die on the hub world you just go back, which is a cool little feature. It would have been really funny if you could just lose lives on the hub world. Okay. So these next few levels, apart from that one, are going to be a little shorter because each of them have two remotes. But we'll see how long-winded these uh, <clears throat> remotes are. I'm not sure if this would be considered to be dated and potentially offensive, but considering it's paying homage to a genre of television, I'm assuming no. But just in case, be warned, there is some stereotypes involved. I do like the kung fu um, theater, though. It's it's cute. I have no idea if I'll have enough um, of the collectibles towards the end, because um, there are two pronounced um, paths to take in this level. So, meaning that the collectibles will be very variable. You just smack the gongs and collect the, the... I don't even know. I guess it would be Chinese food. Because that's what... I don't know. Just collecting all of the food. I don't know what that symbol means on the... If any of you are versed in whatever language that is, <laughs> feel free to let me know. I'm so afraid of saying something. Because, like, I actually don't know. Oh, so I'm, like, stuck here. Okay. Just Gex casually vandalizing this, uh, this very, um, distinct part of town. I really like his little, uh, kimono thing. I kind of wish that he had an extra move in some of the levels in Gex 3. He does have extra moves to match, uh, the, um... He does have extra moves to match the setting. Mao don't know dung what? What does that mean? What does it mean to know dung? <laughs> Is everybody in this universe just a gardener of some form? Okay, the fire breathing statue head. Oh, we found a life. One in every 30 little, uh, I am very like, <laughs> Sorry, my cortisol levels are high. We just finished playing Um Jammer Lammy. And now we're doing this level of Gex getting stuck on every wall in this very, um... In this level of some sort of east, uh, area that is somewhat nondescript. Ah, the cannonball in its natural environment. If you just look up, there is a, uh... Asian pirate ship just flying around in the sky. Okay. Where are we? So many dojos. Yeah. Dojos, yin-yangs, just all of the stereotypes. I'm surprised that the ninjas themselves aren't throwing these yin-yangs. The Great Wall ain't so great. Okay, Trump. <laughs> <clears throat> the assumption is that this entire level is some kind of like big restaurant. According to Gex, not my logic, according to Gex, in restaurants like these, you are prone to be attacked by uh, katana wielding possessed statues and scorpions. Do they even have scorpions? Uh, in again, like I, I don't know where I am. What is life? Where am I? Culture shock. I feel like anybody, even including, um, presumably China, would be feeling culture shock watching this very um, distorted interpretation of their culture through uh, uh, TV interpretation in this video game. 
Gotta rally up the scorpions to make some more food. Have you ever tried lo mein with scorpion? I'm actually curious to know if like people eat scorpions and what they would taste like. I mean, I won't knock anything uh, that I haven't tried once. I'd be terrified of scorpions, but I guess that gives them a purpose in our, uh, what is it called, anthropocentric, I think, if I'm not mistaken, society? Because the purpose they'd serve otherwise is just terrifying everyone. <laughs> I'm rambling. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just... I don't know how to react to what's going on. Okay. So... Because we are doing this, um... Because we're doing the collectibles, I think I'm going to actually interrupt the level and start the other mission for the sake of getting all of the collectibles in one go. Okay, we didn't die, which is great, even though honestly dying might make more sense. Hmm. wonder if it might make just uh, more sense to just uh, let Gex die so we can use the enemies. I don't know. Now we're collecting these uh, theater masks, which... Uh, for some reason, uh, my intuition is telling me Japan, but I don't... I'm not familiar with Asian cultures. And I'm being very careful not to follow the line of the game. Because, again, the TV interpretation might not be the most... The best way to interpret what's going on in front of us. Okay, I actually think that we might not need to um, go back to the second mission now. Just following all of these signs, which are like one or two of them are in, uh, in Asian language and the others are just inexplicably in English. Okay, which way are we even going? I'm so confused. I'm surprised that the fire didn't hit us because usually what happens there is that uh, you will, um, wait, let's go back there, because I think um, the hidden remote is somewhere in, like, okay, not here. It's somewhere in, like, a hidden little crevice that we have to find by just rolling the camera around. I have no idea what just happened with that enemy. He just fell through the floor. Okay. Into the golden doom uh, Whatchamacallit, Pringles, on the walls. I wonder what this, uh... Surely this has to be referencing some sort of movie. Uh, something's telling me Jackie Chan, but I haven't watched Jackie Chan movies, so I could be wrong. Also, like, these, the parts of this level feel kind of the same. I like how they're multi-tiered, but uh, some variety in the, like, street looking sections would be welcome yeah i think i've traversed this part before again not necessarily a bad thing because uh we do have some uh, collectibles to collect would you like some flaming gecko with your uh kung pao okay why is everything yin yangs i'm not entirely even sure where the yin yang symbol comes from um, clearly, this, uh, yeah, I feel like we maybe I'm just going around in circles. I might be. It's a, it's a possibility. Uh, okay. Going down the zip lines! This is, like, the least convenient mode of travel to get, um, through a city. You go from midtown to uptown by, by zip lining. Okay. Ugh. All right. Very close to the. We have the collectible remote, so that's one less thing to do. But I'm almost sure that we have missed uh, the um, the other remote. Okay, I'm not even sure if we have to do this. Let's just skip all of that, and yeah, we're gonna have to kill these uh, shuriken wielding things. Those do not look like shurikens. They just look like Ritz crackers with um, 
with edges, like maybe a toddler is biting down on them. File this under offensive. Don't you just hate it when you're going to a restaurant for Chinese food and you just get mobbed by ninjas? I, just, I would really love to see the movie that this is based on. Okay, I believe this is the dragon section, so I'm almost sure we missed a, a remote. Okay, this part can be a little clunky. I just have to... Repeatedly smack! Oh no. We're close to death. We might as well just... Akira to white courtesy phone. Akira to white courtesy phone. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we don't immediately get smacked by this dragon. I do like this mini boss battle. It's pretty cool. Ooh, stock. Dragon sounds. I'm trying to remember. I read somewhere that um, a lot of these animal noises that they use in video games and movies are actually just random animals doing the naughty, and I think that's hilarious because I'm just imagining, like, um, I don't know what that sound is particularly. I'm imagining, like, some kind of large bird. It's just a thought that tickles me. Okay. Beam me up, Scotty. I'm almost sure that the white controller is in one of those street sections. So I might go back there. I cannot believe. I said that <laughs> these levels would be shorter, but uh, this one's taken me a long time because of all of the tears and all of the all of the tears that I'm shedding. Just trying so hard to not uh, make some kind of joke that I'll regret. Okay, I'm not exactly sure which way I'm going. Oh my god, look at that menu. <laughs> I am just in awe. Fish number one is just a goldfish, fish number two is an octopus, and, puss, and fish, fish number three is just like, um, a pigeon. <laughs> yeah, I do think this part is really cool. Just latching onto that little thing and, um, yeah. Okay, which way are we going now? Oh, we finessed it. That was awesome. I'm really glad that we could cut that corner because that will save us a little bit of time. Oh, I thought I got hit there. Why put a gong right in front of the door uh, that will open up to that gong? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Why not put it, like, in a more hidden section? Okay. If this game has taught me anything, you see people, you smack people, you get rewards! In the Gex universe, violence is rewarded with jumping higher grounds. Transcendence through the fist. Which I guess in some sense is the, the stereotypical American way of uh, perceiving certain cultures. So, hey, relevant question mark? Maybe even to this day? I don't know. I exist in a cultural void. I don't even know America that well. My culture is video games. All of this is just... it. There is no reference to me, so it's just all alien. Ugh. Just living as a gecko in a kimono, being assaulted by ninjas on the way to the grocery store. It's a living. I'll beat this level, but in an hour I'll be hungry for another. <laughs> No comment. Funny enough, uh, me and my partner were ordering some food and uh, a cringy joke was made to that effect. Although it was um, 
it was somewhat um, based in reality because uh, he was actually kind of hungry after an hour. It's tail time. How do you taste dog duty? <laughs> On the <coughs> edge of a very high platform in a restaurant. Potentially offensive joke that's been made a million times about the origin of uh, certain foods? Maybe. Maybe I'm missing it. Maybe I'm overthinking. Um, I guess I'm going to go get that remote off screen, so I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, so um, for this remote, I had to dig it in like the deep recess of my brain, but you see the sign that looks like just part of the environment? Well, you can actually jump on it and then just ride off of it. And there you go. Kind of esoteric. Don't know how you trigger that on your own, but that's where the white remote is.